What's up YouTube? It's Wayne with Wayne's Fish World. I'm coming at you with the 125 and I want to talk about nitrogen fixation. A lot of people know the first way of nitrogen fixation which is the biological means. Basically um, nitrogen getting broken down through plants or anaerobic bacteria or something. But there's another way and that's the lightning way. And a lot of people are wondering how in the world is lightning getting nitrogen. Well what happens is the atmosphere is around 78% nitrogen it's only around 20 percent oxygen um it's crazy to believe but it's true um so what happens is when lightning gets discharged and goes off lightning is around 55,000 degrees fahrenheit it's around 33,000 degrees kelvin roughly around there um what happens is it, it bonds the molecules lightning i mean h2o the water in the rain clouds it it bonds with the gas and the nitrogen gas goes into the water and makes ammonia and a little bit of nitrogen is formed too it gets it gets fused into with the h2o um then it rains down into the into the soil or it goes into a river or a stream and basically the plants are fertilized now this can backfire you sometime if you don't have a plant aquarium if you have a um, shallow well like i do and i mean most of the time your anaerobic bacteria will take care of this before it leaches into the underground streams which feeds your wells but sometimes when it's heavy rainstorms or maybe like a hurricane or something, um, you have a little bit of a nitrogen spike or maybe even ammonia spike. And that's because the lightning, it, it fused together the molecules in the atmosphere and it's coming down and now it's into your rain. It's into your water system. Now, in the wild, it's broken down through anaerobic bacteria or it's absorbed by plants either on ground, in the ground or in the water. And that's just nature's way of doing it. So... I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and the other way, you know, it's broken down to the biological way. And also, before I get into that, everybody thinks nitrogen is so bad. You couldn't live without nitrogen. Um, nitrogen is, is found in amino acids, which is needed for life. Um, you can't live without nitrogen. A lot of people think salt is bad. Well, your heart beats with salt. Um, your heart needs your heart needs salt to beat. So, I mean, the bad things can be a good thing. You just don't want them in a in a in a um, colossal amount. Um, now the other way of nitrogen fixation is through bacteria. Ammonia, the, a waste happens and ammonia forms, and that gets broken down to nitrite with an with an eye with through an aerobic bacteria, which means the bacteria needs air, um, oxygen, and then that gets broken down through another bacteria, which calls nitrate. And nitrate can either be broken down, absorbed through plants, or it can be broken down through anaerobic bacteria through fermentation which is a oxygen it's a it's 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 basically respiration without oxygen and it breaks down nitrate into a nitrogen gas and if you ever wash the soil I don't know they probably did in the video you'll see a little bit of bubbling up into the soil and it'll come out into the tank well that's fermentation right there that's that's anaerobic bacteria pulling nitrates out and just eating it up and turn it into a nitrogen gas again. So that's really cool, guys. So watch out. If you ever have a thunderstorm, um, test your well water. Put a bucket outside and let the rainwater seek into the bucket and test that bucket and see if it's got nitrates and ammonia in it or maybe even nitrites. Um, see, let me know the results, guys, and uh, comment me or message me with your results um after a thunderstorm test your aquarium water after you do a water change now that water's not going to go directly into your into your um well water which is an underground stream but it, it's going to take some time to get down there so maybe a couple weeks later test your water and just keep testing your sink water your faucet water and see if you got a if you got some kind of spike um that's gonna be really interesting i want to see what you guys got to say about that so uh comment rate subscribe any questions on um nitrogen fixation let me know later